tetrapod ryegrass has had one more chromosome than, than a regular this ryegrass. This would recommend as opposed to diploid type of, uh, of, of ryegrass. Well, that, they, they, the problem with tetraploids were at one point they were, they would freeze out. We, we planted tetraploids uh, 25 years ago when it first came out. But if you had a real cold winter, they couldn't stand it. So the, the diploids were, were better. Okay. But now they've developed several of the tetraploids that, uh, like the Nelson ryegrass, uh, which we used to call Willie Nelson. <laughs> but it can stand, Dr. Nelson at Texas A&M is the one that developed that. And it can stand the cold weather. So, the, so Nelson and Marshall, they both tetraploid type ryegrasses? Uh, no, ne ne Marshall's not a tetraploid. Okay. Nelson is a tetraploid. Nelson's a, Nelson's a tetraploid. Nelson is a tetraploid. Okay, so it doesn't doesn't produce a seed head. Yeah, it'll produce a seed head. Yeah, but, but not a lot like it. Uh, no, well, a, a decent amount, but it also will not cross with uh, the the diploids. And that's the thing about Marshall ryegrass that they've always told me that the Marshall ryegrass will stay Marshall ryegrass. If you've got Gulf ryegrass in your field or just uh, local ryegrasses that have been there for years, they will not cross with the Marshall and the Marshall will stay Marshall. So if you, really? if you plant a stand of Marshall, you should have a stand of Marshall. And I asked the Marshall ryegrass people that flat out one time at a meeting, you know, and they told me, no, it will stay Marshall ryegrass.